what I'm doing is I'm picking up Christmas decorations. To hang on my tree. And I have an old fashioned tree. I've got enough. This is a huge pine right here and they're just laying all over the ground. Um, I'm sure there's quite a bit under the leaves that have already pretty much fallen that I'm probably stepping all over but I think that this will be plenty for the Christmas tree so that will make some really nice decorations. Uh, We've got in mind doing a Thanksgiving special, so be sure to be watching for that video on Thanksgiving. And we also want to do a Christmas special. Um, so be watching for that one on Christmas so that we can actually um, share holidays together. So that's something special that we decided to do. Um, and we hope that you guys enjoy it. Well, hey guys, it's time to find out who the two lucky winners are, or the same winner, because the, the same name could be drawn twice, of these two steel MS-180 chainsaws. Now you've seen me use mine around here a lot. It comes in really handy, regardless of whether you're living in town or living out in the country. The use of a, and now these are small chainsaws, but the use of a chainsaw always comes in handy. Um, so you've seen me use mine around here doing a lot of carpentry work too. Um, they're small enough to be able to use them that way and they're light enough to be able to use them you know if you're working like out in the woods all day long as well uh, they're not that heavy but uh, you know one of these was donated by a subscriber to give away we've been holding it uh, for this milestone here and then we decided to go out and purchase the other one and do a double giveaway you know it really pleases us to be able to do things like this because if it wasn't for viewers like you we wouldn't have a channel so you know, continue to share this with your family, your friends, your neighbors, anybody that you can think of because as the channel grows, so do the giveaways. We have our tier system uh, for our new milestone giveaways set up there on the website. So be sure and go check that out. Um, and you can see, I think the next giveaway that we're doing at 50,000 um, subscribers is $750 worth of camping gear. And then it continues to rise every 10,000 subscribers after that. So. Uh, you know, we just want you guys to be able to share in the growth of the channel. And as it grows, that's the reason for the new tier system, so do the giveaways. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we really wouldn't even have this channel that we do. So, it just pleases us to be able to do things like this, especially our monthly giveaways. Every month we look forward to drawing names to see who those giveaways are going to go to because we enjoy uh, giving back to you guys. But uh, anyway, without any further ado, why don't we hop on the inside of the cabin and see who the lucky winners are. Okay guys, hopefully you can see over my shoulder here. What I have done is I have went here. This is where we talked about the 40,000 giveaway to comment on that video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL I'm going to go over here to our random picker, okay? I'm going to insert that URL, 
Then I'll pull down here and I'm going to get all the comments. So we'll wait for all that to go through. Okay, there's all the comments. Now we're going to drop down here. Alright, this is for the first uh, MS-180 steel chainsaw. So I want to wish everyone the best of luck. So here we go. Looks like Frederick Wilkin, you are the winner of one of the MS-180 chainsaws. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to drop back up here. Okay, we've still got the same URL in there. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another winner. Alright, so we're going to leave that right there as it sits. Here we go with the next one. And it looks like Dan Cooper, you are the second winner of the MS-180 steel chainsaw. Well, I actually wrote down the names to bring it back out here because a lot of times I will answer the very end of the uh, drawing from the inside of the cabin, but it's such a nice day out here that I thought I would come back outside. But anyway, Frederick Wilkin, congratulations to you as well as Dan Cooper, congratulations to you. You know, it really pleases us, like I said earlier, to be able to give these chainsaws away. I'm sure that anyone that's watching us could actually use a good chainsaw. So, congratulations to both of you. Be sure and email us at smokymountainoutpost at gmail.com with the information on how that we can get these saws to you. You know, I've wanted to say for quite some time, and I never have said it actually, but uh, a lot of people try to message me on Facebook, you know, we have an account there, and on Instagram, but they don't really work up here. Uh, the only time that I can get that notification, and it's generally uh, a week old, is when I go to my daughter's house. So, if you want to get in touch with us, you know, we have those platforms to be able to uh, put our information out there so people can get in touch with us. But in order to get in touch with us, please send us an email. That way I'm for sure to get it. I can get email up here, okay, because it's not really, um, you know, pictures and things like that that are trying to come across uh, the internet that I actually get on my phone. Don't leave a comment in the comment section. That's just basically for the video. Congratulations to the both of you. I hope that you get a lot of good service out of these. And we're looking forward now to our next giveaway, which is the uh, camping gear. So guys, uh, like I said, you know, or always say on the videos. We certainly do appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting both of our channels actually and we just look forward every month to giving these away. So uh, as the channel continues to grow so will the giveaways and so will the milestone giveaways. So you know um, your continued support and sharing with your family, friends, and neighbors is well appreciated along with the giveaways that we do. So let's get back to today's video. Well, I actually was able to get this little pumpkin in his mouth. 
uh, to hold that jaw in place. I'll try to turn it where you can see it. And then I was able to get some glue down where the jawbone actually attaches to the skull. So hopefully, um, I got quite a bit in there. Hopefully it will set up where I can actually turn it upside down and finish filling the back side of that so it will actually hold it. But um, that was a little bit uh, tedious to try to get that. So I'm going to let this sit right here and hopefully it will set up enough, like I said, where I can turn it upside down and be able to do the other side and then maybe it will stay. We'll have us a European mount on this bear skull that um, I may set it over there by the moonshine still. So anyway, we'll let that set for a while and we'll see what happens.
If I have enough, I'm going to show you a trick that I don't think I'm going to have enough. Uh, anyway, the cable ties here, if you will basically run it around twice and then run it through like this and cinch it up, it is much tighter. It's almost like a vise. That's the way we used to do in the communications. but this isn't long enough so I'll just have to settle for it once around trying to mount this in here where it will give them light and also be out of the way Well, I'm going to give that uh, the rest of the day to charge and tomorrow because it's late evening and I don't think that it's had time uh, to charge enough. So we'll let it charge the remainder of the day and then tomorrow and then we'll check it out and see if it works. But hopefully that will trick them into laying some eggs and it'll also give me a light if I need to come up here and check on them at night time. So we will see what happens tomorrow.
Well, this is actually um, two pieces of cedar, actually from the handrail out there on the steps coming up the porch. I just basically cut two ends off of a piece I had left. One of them is about an inch thick because that tailbone was about an inch. And then I cut one about a half inch to go on top of that to give me um, enough to slide it down in there and get it glued. But basically, this is what it will look like. And I'll find a spot to hang that up on the wall. Well, we certainly hope that you uh, enjoyed that uh, video as well as the winners of the giveaways. It just pleased us to be able to do that. Um, but I am getting this section almost uh, totally done now. I can actually bring those trees down. And I'm working on the other section over there. Once I get that underbrush cleared, I'll be able to fall those trees and then once I get the logs moved and then that pile of uh, slab wood I'll actually be ready for the dozer. Um, now these trees are going to be left sticking up about uh, two or three feet like you said makes them easier to just knock them over and uh, get them out of the way as opposed to trying to dig them up with the dozer. So that's what I will do but um, I'm just excited about being able to uh, get started on some of these new builds here that we've got uh, in the future and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm not looking forward to all of the cleanup and the moving. If I'd have thought about that ahead of time these stacks wouldn't be where they're at but you know that's hindsight and these are future plans so um, try to be a little bit more careful about what I'm doing from here on out with everything that's going on. You know people are enjoying what I'm doing so much. Um, I am you know enjoying filming that and so this should be exciting for the next couple of years anyway but I've still got more future plans outside of that with root cellar and um, thinking about a hog pen and uh, some other buildings the entrance way I've got to do that down there in the base camp I mean it just seems like we're gonna end up with a small compound up here before it's over but anyway it's a lot of fun and hope you guys are enjoying it too so Guys, thank you so much for stopping by up here at the cabin. We certainly do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you back up here again next time.